So the beauty of knowing how to paint a staggered stencil pattern is that once you know how to do it, you can use any type of stencil in any kind of room. You can order your stencils online or at a craft store, or you can just cut them out with poster board, which is what I've done. But let me show you how I like to do it. So we're gonna start by painting a nice wide band all the way across the room. You don't have to worry too much about the size of it. Just cover enough of the wall to make a nice wide stripe all the way across the room. On the edges at the top, just kind of feather it out nice and light so you don't have any big ridges right there. So I can place my next stencil anywhere I want it, really wide and open or close and tight. I want this to look like a wallpaper pattern, so I'm gonna put it pretty close. I like it mm, about here. So I'll stencil this, and then I'm just gonna measure from the top of this stencil to the top of this stencil, and then I'll know where the next one goes. So to create the staggered pattern now, we're going to place the stencil centered between the first two stencils and slide it over to where I like it. And this sets the distance for the rest of the columns across the wall. finish off this wall, I'm just going to roll in the rest of it with this nice warm color and I'm going to feather in the edges over the top of my pencil lines just like I did at the start. The possibilities with a staggered stencil design are endless. Even a simple shape can become a refreshing grid of pattern and color.